Even after Phase 1, the Battle for Ashen Veil vale should continue to be a useful source of reputation for your faction's war song gold trap. So here's my bite sized guide on how to get involved. So the actual event doesn't start until both the Alliance and the Horde reach 100% on this overlay, which will be at the top of your screen whenever you're in Ashen Veil. Vale. You can progress these percentages by killing any mobs in a zone as well as enemy players. You can also see this overlay via the Nova World Buffs add on, and if you want to know more about this add on, click up here where I talk about all the add ons I use in SOD. Once both factions hit 100% on this overlay, the event will begin. Three lieutenants will spawn for both the Horde and the Alliance, as well as a faction leader who is immune to damage until the lieutenants have been killed. The overlay changes to show 3 out of 3 for both factions. This indicates that all 3 lieutenants are still alive. These lieutenants are visible on the world map. I recommend learning these spawn locations, and when the event is close to starting, head over and wait for one of them to spawn, and ask for an invite to a raid group with other players who are going to be waiting there. Tagging and killing one of these lieutenants will award 400 rep for your faction's War Song Gulch reputation. Killing all 3 of these opposing factions lieutenants is necessary to remove immunity from the enemy faction leader. These leaders are located here for the Alliance, and here for the Horde. The Battle for Ashen Vale event ends once one of these faction leaders is dead. Whichever faction does this first is declared the winner, and the event will end, starting the cycle all over again. You get 400 rep if you're on the winning side, and a bonus 200 reputation for each lieutenant that your faction managed to keep alive. Pay close attention to your chat during the event, as quite often some players will come up with tactics and strategies to try and help your faction win. There's also a weekly quest tied to the event. Players can loot either the Warsong Outriders Mark if you're on the Alliance, or the Silverwing Sentinel's Charm if you're on the Horde. These items are dropped from the Elite mobs of the opposite faction during the event. Once you pick them up, right click them, you get a quest. All you have to do is turn it into your faction leader. The easiest time to do this is when the event isn't active, as your faction leader will be in Splinter Tree Post for the Horde and Astronaut for the Alliance respectively. Once you turn it in, you'll be given a thousand reputation for your Wars on Gold Trap, as well as an item that increases all damage and healing done by 5% for 2 hours. If this was helpful at all, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.